Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have the big trough mirror set up. I got a Fresnel One set up over there. What we're going to be doing today, I was going to be doing a video with the steam engine to get this running. It took a little bit longer to set up than I initially planned. So now everything's set up. I got about 300 foot of black hose in the front yard, which is going to help out a lot. One thing that I'm doing today, a lot of people are shooting guns in our neighborhood. It's just that kind of neighborhood. So I figured in the spirit of that, why not test this out as a steam cannon today? So we're going to do some flash tests. I have some steel ball bearings. I'm going to show you those. So this is these actually fit pretty snugly. Well, not snugly. These fit in the pipe like a uh, kind of how a BB would fit. All right, so uh, we missed time that one. I'm gonna stick this in there again, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but ow! 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 ow. It's pretty cool. Okay, so you can see that that didn't necessarily. Uh, have enough pressure built up in it. So now what I'm going to do is wrap a little wadding around the ball if I can find it. And uh, well, I've got a couple hundred more I'm going to go grab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to wrap some paper, paper towel around it and shove that in there and then fire it and see what happens. I got the high speed camera set up this time at the white styrofoam. By the way, now's a good time for me to tell you this. Don't try this at home. Um, I'm a professional? I don't know. Anyways, it's kind of dangerous. Ow! Ow! <laughs> a little bit better, but that's just going to burn somebody. So, now I'm going to wrap it really good with some pipe tape. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm increasing the diameter of the ball to fit snugly in there. My goal is to cram it in there and let the pressure build up and have this act as a release valve. Now, this can't really blow up because this is the weakest point. If you were to like weld the end closed, then you'd have some real problems. So, not gonna do that. All right, so I've got myself a glove now. And one thing you're not gonna see me do is walk in front of that when this is here. I've got the whole area behind this cleared. No one's to walk behind it just in case it really does something spectacular. So one of the problems that I had was the pipe was bending. Now when it bends, the water collects in there and the weight of the water. So instead of having flash steam, you end up with just really, really hot water. In fact, I'm probably going to kill all the grass right there. So we're going to take our new shot, make sure nobody's on that side over there. All right, so if this one doesn't work really well, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just crank the last one up really strong. Was better it put a dent in a piece of styrofoam so uh was a pretty exciting experience. Uh, the barrel had some rust in it so it didn't really work that well. 
The one worked really good where we got some cardboard jammed in there, but... Well, that was twice then with the cardboard? Yes, the cardboard so acts... The cardboard was, it, it really simulated a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's basically like a black powder gun that you put the wadding in and then you put your shot in there. And so what was the whole idea behind this experiment? To see how much pressure? See how far we can shoot things. <laughs> I have a That's feeling. actually a flash steam cannon, so... Now, I was watching Dan from a distance, and I could see how dangerous this could be. So you definitely don't want anybody underage being doing this. You probably shouldn't do this at all, but anyways. Um, we want you to demonstrate it, but just strictly to show the pressure. Yeah, I mean, you could make a gun out of a teapot if you wanted to. So anyways, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.